Neighbors of broadcast legend Steve Wright expressed their huge shock at the star's very unexpected death as they paid tribute to a genuinely warm and humble man. The BBC Radio 2 presenter was found dead at his pound two million flat close to Marylebone High Street in central London on Monday morning. Paramedics were called to the property following an incident just after 10 a.m. Neighbors of broadcast legend Steve Wright expressed their huge shock at the star's very unexpected death as they paid tribute to a genuinely warm and humble man. The BBC Radio 2 presenter was found dead at his pound two million flat close to Marylebone High Street in central London on Monday morning. Paramedics were called to the property following an incident just after 10 a.m. Mr. White said, it was a huge shock, very unexpected. He was really well-liked and people thought the world of him. Steve and I shared the same plumber and I texted him this morning to say how sad it was that Steve had gone. He messaged back and said he'd been left absolutely devastated and that he hadn't yet taken in the awful news. Steve was a genuinely warm and humble man. If he saw you coming down the stairs, he'd smile and hold the front door to the block open for you. He'd always have a conversation with people. There wasn't any trace of stardom about him. He was just a down-to-earth, normal bloke. He didn't have a driver. He got an Uber everywhere. But as much as he was an extrovert on the radio, away from the mic, he was quite a quiet, private person. He kept himself to himself. We have similar surnames, so sometimes we'd get each other's posts. Steve would come down, knock on the door and apologize and say, I appear to have your letters, Mr. White. We'd have a short conversation on the door. I'd do the same if I had his post. When I first moved here, I'd no idea he lived upstairs. I saw him in the foyer and had to double take. Mr. White said he was at work yesterday afternoon when he saw the news. He added, by 10 a.m. I'm at work so I didn't see the ambulance arrive on Monday. The first I knew that Steve had died was when I saw his picture flash up on BBC News at work yesterday. It caught me off guard somewhat. I couldn't really believe it. This morning I spoke to the porters who were present when the ambulance arrived. They were still really shaken up by it all. Another neighbor, who asked not to be named, added, he was a lovely man. I didn't see him too many times. I think he lived in one of the flats on the upper floors with his daughter. I don't know if anyone is in the property at the moment, but our thoughts are with his family. It comes as former colleague, Liz Kershaw, slammed BBC bosses for their alleged shabby treatment of Mr. Wright, who she claimed was dumped by the BBC and treated like a tin of beans. Her outburst came as staff at Radio 2 were said to be furious at station chief Helen Thomas issuing a statement to pay tribute to the much-loved DJ less than 18 months after axing his popular afternoon show and moving him to a Sunday slot. It emerged that Wright was found dead at his pound two million London flat on Monday morning after paramedics revealed they were called to reports of an incident.